Yeah, so guys, today well, we are bringing a special episode. We are still at Nyabohanse and uh, we are a few oh, content creators there. Bye. That's Jay Bear and uh, the mind behind the camera is yeah. Shims Thank TV. You. We have Supreme yeah. there. So we are going to the fish pond yeah. at Ayamarua yeah. village. So if you check this side, we have the clay path, but right? we're going to come to it later. Yeah. yeah, maybe you can just give them a glimpse, a short glimpse. That's right. And, uh, we will come the, we'll come later right now we are going to the fish pond and uh, we have mr gintu here mr gintu maybe uh, tell the people something what do you guys do i'm standing here this is an emergency door uh -huh. uh, around the clay but here this is just a pathway we are just uh, going to uh, uh -huh. take so as we can now head onto my project which uh -huh. is just a fish farming project uh -huh. i i am going by the name it's underscore gintu at uh -huh. youtube channel we are just going with my brother so as i can just show uh -huh. him two three things about the fish farming project if we can just have an interest in my tava uh -huh. i might have a, 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 a booking ticket so that uh -huh. i can just construct something relevant uh -huh. for for him uh -huh. guys come with us yeah so this is the clay bath eh? yeah. here we have jbn jbn yeah. have you no. had a clay bath i yeah. know i did that show in the river it was uh. so amazing mm -hmm. so this is jbn from mm -hmm. uganda mm -hmm. hey guys oh, subscribe to this beautiful channel if you yes. haven't and you're from my end mm -hmm. let's support this beautiful channel mm -hmm. thank you for always coming in to support us share wow. like and don't forget to watch the ads mm -hmm. and also check me out at jbn uh -huh. this is my channel name mm -hmm. you know i like to show yeah, maybe show them the, the yeah. channel. Let me, let me show. Mm -hmm. yeah, because it become this lighting, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not J Bayan. Oh, it is there. Yeah, yeah. it's visible. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's visible. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take me out at Yeah, then you have uh, Cyprin. Tell them. Hello, how are people? <laughs> how are you? This is Cyprin. Please yeah. don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm. And today we have an amazing, amazing I have my video. Phone. We're yes, gonna phone show you how fish farming is it oh, coming out of yes. yeah. fish. It's <laughs> done. So, guys, you're gonna enjoy. And I'm happy those people who have been supporting us. We have new content for you guys. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go check out yes. the fish pond. <laughs> Yeah, so Mr. Gintu. Yep, yep. What's the origin of your name? Is it the name on the ID, Gintu? Yeah, it's the same name. The same name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, uh, Samson Gintu. Uh, it's called what? <laughs> yes, a channel. Reeds. Reeds. They're called Reeds, eh? Reeds. Reeds. They're used for construction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Reeds. Papyrus Reeds, actually. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, Gintu, is this your, is this your champ? No, 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 no. My mm. champ is just a... Uh, Oh, that is okay. That. Oh, this belongs to Marwa. This one after that. No, 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 no. Mm. It's for another person. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not yet uh, purchased for just selling or uh, anyone has just bought it. Oh, hey. yeah. Wow. Oh, there's a landslide here. Oh yeah. This place is so scary. So scary. Yeah, yeah there's a landslide. The other side. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. My shamba now is from this point. Oh, oh from this point, yeah. yeah. So this is the boundary, this yeah, trench. This, yeah, this trench is the boundary uh -huh. of this, uh, my fish farming project, mm -hmm. this one here now. Wow. Wow, so why is the water looking like uh, green, greenish in color? Greenish, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's under fertilization process. Mm -hmm. you no, know, we, you know, we, whenever we just harvest these fish ponds here, mm -hmm. or we drain water out, mm -hmm. then we remove the fish from here. So harvesting is just clearing all everything from this pond. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's just uh, uh, dry after mm -hmm. you have just um, drained water. Mm -hmm. It dries up. Then now you seal all the seepages or um, you know, the channel that was just bringing the water out mm -hmm. so it water accumulates mm -hmm. again so if it accumulates now you it reaches a time when now you start the fertilization mm -hmm. now the fertilization here depends with the uh, two types of fertilization here mm -hmm. we can just use the concentrate uh, fertilizers mm -hmm. or you can just use uh, the manual ones like the cow dunk mm -hmm. or the chime do you know the chime chime no we are now learning. have you have you ever gone to a slaughterhouse no yeah. <laughs> slaughterhouse yeah, oh i remember yeah. it chime is that kind of Scarfs, cow dung yeah it looks like yeah. cow 
cow dung, uh, but it's not the cow dung. Uh -huh. It's uh, it's just removed from the stomach of uh, the cow. Like in matumbo. Not really the matumbo, no. but the those the remains grass. of food. Eh? Yeah. The remains oh, of food. Uh, before 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 oh, it's now digested fully uh -huh. into into the cow dung. Okay. Wow. So you can just see it at the far end, just stocked there. Oh. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do use that uh, uh, the chai mo, the cow dung. Mm -hmm. So as it now turns water into green, the purpose of uh, uh, that chai mo, mm -hmm. it has a uh, more than five positive impacts. I can just start with one. Mm -hmm. Now you know that stuff uh, is so nutritious in terms of uh, plants growing. Mm -hmm. So it has those nutrients relevant for the growth of plants. Mm -hmm. So whenever you throw them here, they are just going to turn water into green. That greenish is now we call the chai, the, the algae. The algae. Yeah. So the algae, these ones here, this is just the algae that uh, is now forming up. So as it can now uh, go settle down and come up as a plant. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you just add uh, those chime onto this water, you throw them here, mm -hmm. they're just going to facilitate that growing. They they bring those nutrients relevant for the growth of this algae. So as it can now be powerful and so green in terms of uh, uh, when they're just consumed, it will have that uh, nutritious value mm -hmm. to the, to the uh, what we call the tilapia fish because I do read the tilapia fish. Mm -hmm. The second point is that when you can just see now water is somehow greenish in color, mm -hmm. it will now give that barrier between the predator birds and the fish. They will oh, not so they view won't be direct. Able to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it will keep that barrier. So it has that uh, a second positive impact. The mm -hmm. third point is that uh, when you use that chime, the scent of that chime doesn't go hand in hand with some uh, uh, we call about the predators like uh, snakes. Mm -hmm. So you can never get any snake around this field mm -hmm. because that chime the scent doesn't go hand in hand with the snakes mm -hmm. the point number four is that when you can just have the maize plantation or crops around your area or you can just have some nursery beds or seed beds mm -hmm. you can use this water to water the those plants because it's now uh, the nature of the green turbidity mm -hmm. we are talking about uh, because we have just thrown them here so they are going to neutralize this water and it should be so nutritive in terms of the growth of uh, the plants so you can just use this water because it has that uh, uh, we can talk about fertilization mm -hmm. that will now favor the growth of uh, other crops outside from the pond mm -hmm. because if it can now facilitate the growth of algae so it can facilitate other crops uh, to grow outside okay. so that's why you can now see even this grass is somehow so nutritive in terms of uh, sure. so it gets that uh, nutrients from that uh, water so as now it can grow up quickly because mm -hmm. this one is just one week Oh. Yeah. One week. Yeah, it's just, just one, one week. week. Yeah. yeah. So you can now imagine uh, that kind of uh, uh, yeah. that nutrients yeah. it has. Mm -hmm. So the fifth point is uh, when you use that chime, you know, sometimes that's where you see this grass is just uh, around this pond. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's now extend itself onto the water, so if I stock here some fish, they can eat that grass. Mm -hmm. So if they can just eat grass, they can eat uh, potato beans, mm -hmm. they can eat skumawiki. You chop it finally, then you throw here. They can just eat. Wow. Mm -hmm. So if they can eat grass, it means that uh, the, the, the cows grazed the grass, then it was now uh, chewed and grinded and swallowed into the stomach. Mm -hmm. So it's the same now we call the chime. It was removed before for, uh, before the digestion took place further. So if you throw them here, now it's going to be some food to them because it's somehow grass. Mm -hmm. So it has five positive impact towards this uh, mm -hmm. uh, pond. Mm -hmm. This one you can never get it in school. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, mm -hmm. where no, do you get this? That was the, the, yeah. the next question. Where yes. do you get this kind of information? Sure. Uh, you know, I I, I had, uh, when I bought this land in uh, mm -hmm. 2017, I was now uh, approaching now to go to form 4 mm -hmm. or somehow 17 there yes, mm -hmm. or uh, some 18. Mm -hmm. So when I purchased this land, uh, it was swampy like. This area was a swampy like mm -hmm. area. So uh, I thought that what can I just uh, do at this field because it was cheap in terms of purchase mm -hmm. that time so because uh, people never knew what could just uh, be performed at this area so they left it vacant mm -hmm. so they sold to me as a cheaper price as possible so when I purchased it uh, uh, I thought what can I just cultivate at this land so I thought that maybe you can just plant some rice mm -hmm. or uh, fish farming but rice you have uh, you should have a large scale so as you can now compete with the market mm -hmm. and you should have uh, the machines that could just process your rice so 
as it can now be a finished product. In the terms of that, I knew oh, I cannot do that. So at that time, I got an advertisement of uh, the national government was just advertising to people who have uh, a land that's favorable for the construction of the pond. Mm -hmm. They are going to construct for you for free mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. So that's how now uh, I enrolled myself to that program. So uh, the government of Kenya uh, dug this uh, fast fish pond to me mm -hmm. for free. Mm -hmm. So whenever, you know, it, no, it was not the, uh, the machine to do the work, but it was uh, dep the dependent of uh, the digging of this was just the human uh, power. Mm -hmm. So uh, whenever they were just here, I was around. So as I can now see how the work is just prospering. Mm -hmm. So there were, there were so many engineers here in terms of uh, how it was just measured. Uh, is it now possible for the stocking? How water is? The turbidity of water? The silt of water? pH of water? Mm -hmm. So I got those everything from them because I was just asking questions because they could just construct and go who will be left with the pond it's me so what am I going to do with that so I asked I kept on asking questions because they constructed it for 12 days mm -hmm. so every day they were just I provide them with the, uh, the accommodation so uh, we were just waking from home and coming at this site my home is just two kilometers from here so we were just coming here so I was asking questions on what uh, kind of how can I now rear the fish which kind of fish can I just rear uh, the feeding protocols uh, they had the engineers who could just give me the whole hint mm -hmm. so after there I stocked the first time so uh, I got a profit from here so because I knew now now this is now the passion to go with mm -hmm. so I constructed that one as the second fish pond mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was now the engineer because oh, so I you wanted apply to test, the knowledge yeah I wanted to uh -huh. test myself mm -hmm. am I now going to uh, apply the knowledge or uh, the skills I have because uh, I never learned it in school so I got from some people mm -hmm. so so uh, I now practiced uh, that uh, by, via those people who are just mm -hmm. digging it out. What about this one here? Yeah. Now this one is just the third one. Mm -hmm. So uh, even this one, I was the engineer behind the construction. So mm -hmm. uh, this one only was just constructed via the engineers. The, the engineers. But oh. these other two, mm -hmm. I constructed them alone mm -hmm. via my own brain. Mm -hmm. So the way I wanted them to be constructed. Mm -hmm. If it's just small, construct the small one. If it's just big, so uh, they, they got uh, all the... Uh, uh, Anything I needed it to be, so it was just from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I. And why uh, are you uh, rearing on rare fish? No, I do rare two uh, species of uh, uh, fish here. Mm -hmm. I have the catfish here, and I have the tilapia fish at this farm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the aim of me using the uh, tilapia fish mm -hmm. is that uh, they have a high growth rate because uh, I depend on the monosex of uh, the male okay. only. Because uh, when we purchase the uh, what we call the uh, flying the, the fingerlings, eh? mm -hmm. the fingerlings. You know they have the stages. Yeah. They have uh, the egg, then to fry, then fingerling, then post fingerling, mm -hmm. then the big fish. Mm -hmm. So it now depends with the timer. It, they have just took under the uh, we know about uh, the hatching process. Mm -hmm. So from the egg to a uh, uh, fry, now it will take like uh, some seven days to fourteen days. Uh, from the fry now to become a fingerling, it's just thirty days, which is just a month. Mm -hmm. After a uh, fry to a uh, post uh, fingerling, from a uh, 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 fingerling now it will. Now now be like two one month again then to post fingerling one month now a big fish after a period of three months and above now that's just a big fish you can consume it mm -hmm. you know so uh, I practice uh, the uh, rearing of uh, the tilapia fish because they have high growth rate in terms of uh, now competing with your market mm -hmm. whenever only you have uh, uh, access to feeds now now it will now depend with the feeds if you have the constituent feeds which are just uh, you know them you purchase from a uh, uh, the wholesalers or uh, those purchased ones that they, they have those nutritive value for the growth of uh, these uh, uh, finger or the fish that you can just rear but if you can just use uh, uh, these uh, man-made or uh, 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 the, uh, this one just local materials mm -hmm. to just feed them uh, they have uh, so okay they can just have that uh, relevant nutrients for them but not so good because they are just concentrated in one nutritive value because if it's just a protein if you are just using the maize husk here, it has one nutritive value because maybe it's just proteinous or carbohydrate. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you are just uh, using the concentrated ones, they have mixed in a ratio that uh, it will supplement uh, a whole of the nutrients um, uh, until the minerals are uh, everything, vitamins, uh, everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are uh, the local ones. Uh, uh, they cut a short about that. But if you use uh, uh, the uh, these the manual ones, 
they have one big effect onto the production here. So because as you know, you can just uh, use uh, the maize husks. Let's use the maize husks here. Mm -hmm. So if you throw the maize husks here, some will just float on water, some will sink, mm -hmm. some will sit at the middle chase. But uh, those ones that are just going to sink, they are just going to rot at the ground. Mm -hmm. So the more you throw them here, the more continuously they are just going now to bulk at the, the ground. So they are just going to rot and uh, bring out toxic substances by the name uh, hydrogen sulfide, mm -hmm. which is uh, the hydrogen sulfide is just going to neutralize this water and it will now uh, kill the fish mm -hmm. after a period of time. So you will just come here and wonder, two fish are dying, three fish, four fish, what is wrong with that? But you don't know that the water now is denatured with uh, hydrogen sulfide onto this pond. Now it will now bring that uh, loss onto you as a farmer. That's why we go for the concentrate ones because uh, uh, they just float. Because these tilapia fish are uh, top feeders, you know, mm -hmm. they're just top feeders. So if uh, they can just only eat the feeds that are just floating on top of water, any kind of feed that has just gone uh, or sink onto the water, uh, you cannot uh, pick that. So that's why now I go to the point that I do rare two types of fish here. I do rare the tilapia fish and uh, uh, the catfish here. Uh, the big aim of me using the catfish here is because uh, whenever I can just use, uh, you know, the pocket is not uh, somehow, eh? you know, somehow mm -hmm. pocket, uh, you can be bankrupt. Uh, sure. Now the economy is somehow bad. You can just think that you are tomorrow I'll get, but tomorrow riches, things are bad. So uh, you can just use the uh, this manual feeds to feed them some, like two days to three, then you catch up with the others. So that's why we use the catfish here because they are top feed, the bottom feeders. Uh -huh. They eat anything that is uh, at the bottom of uh, the pond. So that's why we use the catfish here. It has that one good advantage. But uh, the second advantage about them is that uh, when you stock here uh, the monosex of male, they are not specified that it's just 100% male, but they are just given in a ratio of 3 to 1, which is male 3, 1 female, or 5 to 2. 5 uh, is just male, 2 is uh, the female. So you can never be, you can never ever be given uh, a monosex of male only. So it has uh, some female inside, even if it's just a small ratio, but they are there. So uh, they are just going to uh, reproduce at this fish pond here. Mm -hmm. after a period of three months because uh, they have that uh, high rate of uh, uh, reproduction after every if they have a good climate and a good environment they're just going to breed now and then mm -hmm. after a period of like a one two weeks it has breeded uh, one month it has breed so uh, you shall have a high competition over some uh, fish here so you cannot uh, rear the big fish uh, the cut the, the the small ones uh, which are just the from the fry now because you have the female here you can now have the fries here you have uh, the fingerlings you have the post fingerlings you have the big fish so how do you want to supplement them with the food the feeds because uh, you know we go with the stages mm -hmm. after one month you introduce another feed after a month that's why we have the starter mashes we have uh, the grower mashes we have uh, the uh, uh, three millimeter inches uh, which are just the grower mashes mm -hmm. and we have the finishers pellets so all those are good from the agrovets the agrovets they are there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the point is just uh, now the cost now differs from that. Mm -hmm. So whenever you now use uh, those feeds here, uh, the more you, the more they go to another stage. That's why we always observe. So we have that hook that uh, removes the fish. Mm -hmm. You know that know that hook, eh? yeah. the manual Around made they hook. Use, yeah. They use for fishing. Yeah, that one. Okay. So we do sampling with that one because uh, you cannot use a, a, a net here. It mm -hmm. will now get uh, more of. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we use that hook so as we can now sample from a different different positions mm -hmm. because a net will now take one position only so we have uh, that uh, scattered uh, uh, observation so you can just pick from every corner or from the center so as you can now weigh them and know which now stage they are mm -hmm. that's why I told you you have to do the calculation and to these ponds now you said you have two types of fish you have the tilapia and the catfish, catfish yeah? Yeah. so why don't they can't they predate on one another? Can tilapias eat the catfish? Okay, it will now depend with the stocking. Mm -hmm. You know, when you want to use even the catfish and to this uh, or installation of the catfish here, mm -hmm. first you have to bring here some tilapia fish. Mm -hmm. After a period of three months, mm -hmm. now you bring the fingerlings of uh, the catfish. Uh -huh. Because if you stock them together, the catfish high have high, very high rate of uh, uh, you know growing. The growing rate is over high. Yeah. 
very high <laughs> because they have if they can just have a, a three months mm -hmm. if they are both three months mm -hmm. they can just eat even the fish because uh, they have a high growth rate and uh, uh, they consume anything that's just uh, around this area mm -hmm. you can just see even the frogs are there yeah, yeah. so if I stock here some uh, like 20 catfish you will never hear any frog at this pond they will eat because frogs. they eat frogs they eat snakes they mm -hmm. eat fish small ones mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the point I was just talking about uh, why uh, the second point of me using the catfish they control the breeding mm -hmm. so whenever we have uh, that uh, uh, female ones here because I got from uh, the monosex of male but you have the female mm -hmm. so whenever you stock them here after a period of three months they're going to reproduce if they reproduce those catfish we now deal with those uh, kids perpendicularly per unit mm -hmm. the way it's just uh, recommended so as uh, they now pick the uh, eggs before they are just hatched even if they are just hatched they are going to eat the fries before they grow up but we will just find some others here because uh, you know a fish uh, uh, has its own adaptation unto the water mm -hmm. so but it will uh, control the breeding unto this fish pond that's why we use but uh, we are not going to use them uh, as that uh, uh, the ratio from uh, fish to uh, the catfish uh, the tilapia fish to catfish uh, might be just uh, people can just think is just the ratio is the same yeah. but we use small amount of uh, or uh, small uh, pieces of cut uh, catfish here so they can now control only the breeding mm -hmm. but uh, if you can just have this kind of a pond so as you want to stock here only catfish mm -hmm. you are just going uh, to stock here like 4,000 mm -hmm. yeah 4,000 mm -hmm. so because they don't compete uh, with the, uh, uh, the volume mm -hmm. of water they're just competing with the area provided mm -hmm. yeah can you walk around yeah, yeah. So we can see the other side uh. Uh, I just Let's wanted to ask you a question. The other side I can see, like, uh, it's a barrier. Uh -huh. That side. Uh -huh. Is it where you used to remove this water or was it? Water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Hmm. Now, when you talk about uh, the maintenance practices mm -hmm. that are uh, just done unto this uh, production or rearing of fish, uh, we have to observe everything. Mm -hmm. When I just uh, uh, harvested some fish from this fish pond here, mm -hmm. uh, after doing the renovation and uh, I now uh, accumulated water mm -hmm. uh, inside here, it had the seepages. I don't know if you know about the seepages. Pages. Oh. Pages? No, we are learning now. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, can, learning. somebody can have a hint about the seepages. Mm -hmm. A seepage is a, a, a channel created alongside the dike. This is the dike. We are just stepping. Oh, this, okay. is the, this is just okay. a dike. Mm -hmm. We don't call it a pathway in terms mm -hmm. of fish farming. Mm -hmm. It is a dike. So uh, there's just channels created via the water or the catfish we are okay. just talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to hide inside. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they create some barrows inside here, some uh, spot. yeah. spots. Spots mm -hmm. inside here so that they can now hide because uh, uh, they fear somehow uh, human beings when they're just uh, mm -hmm. they sense mm -hmm. so uh, whenever they just some uh, spaces that water can now uh, create a way towards this fish pond so that one is called a, a, a sea page because oh. uh, it's a where now water can just ooze at the far end yeah. from this fish pond okay. so this fish pond had that problem of a, a sea page uh -huh. so before I could now stock here some fish uh, or a catfish you know they the catfish need somewhere where now the compression is high and they can now get a channel they'll now get away from uh, this fish one because uh, it's just uh, restricted mm -hmm. that they should stay here okay. so if they can just get a pathway they can now they go can to go the river down. so as now they can have that freestyle Freedom. so they don't want to be bulked together mm -hmm. because yeah. even them they don't uh, uh, they they are not so friendly in terms of uh, now uh, competition in water we have that competition mm -hmm. so uh, those before I could now uh, allow water to accumulate on this fish bone I had to see if I have the sea pages or uh, anything else so as when I start fertilization, it's fertilization now. So as a, after a period of two weeks after fertilization, now it's now installation of the fingerlings here. Okay. So that's why you see that area is somehow uh, constructed newly. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was now uh, reconstructed. Mm -hmm. So as now it can now uh, block those uh, seepages. Mm -hmm. So as we don't lose anything here. Now we have seen this village now is popular in terms of uh, people creating content YouTube. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. So if you compare the income for from fish farming yeah. and the uh, YouTube because we have seen mansions people are building mini villas yeah. others villas yeah. so um 
what's the comparison difference. the difference yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of income okay. okay income in terms of uh, okay youtube you know uh, oh, <laughs> uh you know whenever i was just harvesting um, i was just constructing this pond now we're just talking about mm -hmm. in 2021 yeah. around 2020 2021 a period there maro is now uh, starting the foundation of that villa mm -hmm. that time mm -hmm. so uh, i had some people who are just uh, uh, constructing this pond they were just going to i am maro site mm -hmm. so uh, they can now get that food because i am maro provided some uh, uh, fast foods yeah. there mm -hmm. so we can just go there and purchase and uh, just come back here mm -hmm. so uh, i am maro now we came uh, with the uh, with him here so as a uh, so whenever we just constructing this pond i got some two turtles here so i went to ayamaru because uh, he ever advertised that uh, if you can just get uh, any aqua uh, aquaculture uh, something like uh, the turtles uh, if you can have so many frogs you can catch them uh, you can just uh, go to him and uh, he will just purchase them mm -hmm. uh, so he wanted that uh, environment that has uh, the nature mm -hmm. of uh, every ecosystem now we are mm -hmm. talking about so that's why now i brought him here and he st told me i you have a so big project that uh, even me i don't have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that time i was constructing this one so uh, uh, now that's where now we uh, knew each other further because uh, uh, previously some uh, i was somehow small uh, i i supplied them with some milk when they were just staying at the nyabuhanse town mm -hmm. so uh, they knew me but uh, they could not know that i can just have the fish farming mm -hmm. so that was the first time he came here and uh, he saw that i was just a fish farmer so we ever knew each other because he supported me even construction of this uh, fish pond that time so even if uh, we had some theft here someday uh, i stocked here and uh, people were just constructing there uh, i screamed here because i had some uh, people were just uh, coming to take some fish from here theft mm -hmm. so uh, when i shouted some people came from my amaro even my amaro came mm -hmm. it was just one boy who came here to fish mm -hmm. without my acknowledgement mm -hmm. so uh, we ever knew each other as that way because we are at the same village and uh, uh, we are just uh, now friends here mm -hmm. so that's how we knew each other as maro so uh, he ever told me can you just have a youtube channel i told uh, i am maro i don't know even what's youtube mm -hmm. that time mm -hmm. uh, but uh, at that time uh, there's a boy by the name nasto mm -hmm. uh, nasto ever in if you can just check uh, up to uh, the channel uh, around 2021 may he came here and he shoot here some videos mm -hmm. in terms of fish farming from uh, the harvesting uh, preparation of uh, removing some uh, uh, bisections uh, removing scales to town and frying them yeah. um, uh, Nesto, Nesto has those videos so that's why now I told some people what is he doing mm -hmm. I was uh, not even knowledgeable about the YouTube mm -hmm. but he came and took the content from me but I have the content but I could not have uh, that access that I know this how it's just working mm -hmm. so after a period of uh, maybe to this year now I supplied them with some fish from this fish pond so they were just uh, uh, 300 grams and above so they came and purchased from me so I am Mara told me I need something like this but a constructed one mm -hmm. you know so even you can just see I am Mara's videos he has a, a video that he tagged the fish farming that he came and uh, he stood the, uh, that uh, dike there and uh, told people that I want it to be somehow narrow but it uh, reaches at this point mm -hmm. so whenever we are just harvesting he was just coming here and told me ah uh, I want to construct something like this how can I just start doing this mm -hmm. so I was just explaining to him how we can just do it uh, and he told the people even at the YouTube that uh, uh, he will just tenderize that uh, tender to me so as I can now uh, do uh, that uh, uh, fish pond at uh, his uh, home mm -hmm. so that's where now when I came back now to in uh, the construction of that pond so that's why he told me you can now open a YouTube account mm -hmm. uh, YouTube channel so that's where now uh, he helped me to open that YouTuber uh, mm -hmm. channel so some uh, uh, one month ago by the way mm -hmm. so I'm um, now monetized it's just a, a big uh, uh, shout out to people so as a yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's something that um, uh, I do the fish farming so that was the, the interest mostly about the fish farming because I bought this land I never wanted to waste it because uh, you know I hustled for that money mm -hmm. to come up with something like this mm -hmm. so I cannot see it just dying because uh, it was my money but uh, I ever knew the one thing that uh, uh, you cannot 
leave anyone to yeah. just manage your project if you are not around because mm -hmm. I did that mistake when I went back to school my people just think that uh, maybe uh, I do the fish farming only I am a chief chef by profession mm -hmm. and uh, wow. I am a waiter by profession I did a course by the name of the catering and accommodation mm -hmm. so I can just cook for you serve you and accommodate you at the same time oh. so that's what I did yeah. so whenever I just going back to school you know I was just leaving some people who can just manage the ponds mm -hmm. I came back and I found that these ponds are about to dry up and mm -hmm. they were just uh, you know the plants have just uh, uh, grown up, up and mm -hmm. the water level now this ponds one you can never even recognize there is a pond here mm -hmm. so uh, it was like uh, that area you can just see mm -hmm. that was a pond yeah. do you know mm -hmm. that's a pond that was a pond oh, it was not it is a pond but uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know the maintenance practices mm -hmm. because uh, uh, this project uh, most of the people don't depend on the theory of people mm -hmm. a person can just tell you i know the fish farming yes but theoretically but in terms of uh, uh, the now the real in the ground so different mm -hmm. yeah if you can just depend on the theory you can just fail because whatever theory people know if you can just see now the uh, the fish are now doing what uh, uh, floating on top of water they are just dead you know that they have just suffocated mm -hmm. you are just advised that you know you will take some salt the salt one the crystal one so you can just throw it here so as it will now yeah it will now uh, mm, uh, neutralize this water and they can uh, help in terms of those uh, healthy practices into the fish mm -hmm. but uh, the real sense is do you don't know the uh, effect of what you used so as the fish are just floating on top of water mm -hmm. so uh, that's why I told you we have uh, some uh, toxic substance by the name hydrogen sulfide mm -hmm. so maybe you are the only person who created it mm -hmm. that one you have to open water out and you let a uh, new so water you drain in. the water, you drain the water so as you let uh, the accumulation of another water add to the pond mm -hmm. so uh, uh, most of people uh, theoretically they know if uh, we have the floating uh, fish here mm -hmm. throw some salt here. maybe a quick question yeah. uh, a quick question maybe uh, we have youths yeah. in Kenya who are jobless I can see you are self-employed and they are earning big from it so you have youths who are complaining that the government doesn't want to give them jobs. jobs so which advice do you give them <laughs> the point is just one mm -hmm. uh, you know sometimes you can never complain about uh, okay they complain yes mm -hmm. they should complain because sometimes uh, somebody doesn't have uh, anything relevant uh, to something that you can just say he can just invest mm -hmm. some people uh, are just uh, thrown out of the families you know those mm -hmm. kind of people mm -hmm. so they just uh, uh, the only thing they have uh, is education maybe that education is the uh, the way of uh, maybe they need a job that may might maybe the government might just help yeah. so but uh, and to me you can now ask me first uh, or you can just ask those people that uh, uh, do you have something or do you have a, a, a shamba or do you have a, a place where you can just say you can just cultivate something so if the point is yes does he have something relevant for uh, he he all to get uh, some money from uh, that opportunity yes or no <laughs> the point to take home is just get what you can just do first can you do this yes can you go for it yes if you cannot go for it now uh, now maybe you go for the government because uh, uh, the only thing is uh, uh, you have it like just i can just talk about me mm -hmm. i had this uh, uh, area the government constructed this for me mm -hmm. they never stocked for me I should hustle, uh, look for the fish or the fingerlings, I stock them here. Then the feeding it's me. So uh, most of the people maybe uh, a government can just uh, come into your life and uh, maybe to support you like 10%. Mm -hmm. The other things they never support you for 100%. Yeah. That they can just uh, construct for you a pond, install for you some fish, uh, buy for you fish, install them for you, give you some feeds. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. They have just uh, uh, done their job over construction of a pond which is just uh, one of uh, the things that uh, can just improve you mm -hmm. so it, the other things you have to struggle so as they, you can now make it 
So from this point now, I uh, I knew that uh, I have this opportunity to do the fish farming. That's why it's now uh, uh, coming with the other two here. So I have just constructed. Mm -hmm. And you can know one is just uh, what about uh, 45,000 mm -hmm. for construction. 45, yeah, oh. for construction. Mm -hmm. 45, this one we constructed for 35,000. 45 Kenyan shillings? Yeah, 45,000 mm -hmm. Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. So for the construction of the, because uh, uh, the work is so tiresome here mm -hmm. and they should just do a lot of work here so uh, you know sometimes we say about uh, uh, employing we the self-employed we employ yeah? so I talked about employing some people that's why I've just told you I left somebody here I employed because uh, he had done these uh, aquaculture uh, programs so when I left the guy here I never did something because the only thing is uh, I was just uh, uh, sending some money and he was just eating the money so you can never depend on those people mm -hmm. even we the self-employed we have uh, our own risk whereby I know the this can work this one cannot work mm -hmm. so people complain about the government it should be there because uh, some people don't want to work they want to be given so uh, you, that's why you can now see I'm just uh, uh, working so as I can now employ mm -hmm. so uh, people think me, uh, Mm -hmm. Things are not easy outside here. I can see my director is uh, a bit uncomfortable because of the scorching sun. So maybe, <laughs> by the way, let's maybe finish. Do you do deliveries? You sell fish? You deliver door to door? Or how much is the you sell package? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, due to the market mm -hmm. that I have, uh, I, I just uh, produce them for an order. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm just going to stock for an order over May mm -hmm. next year, mm -hmm. May, June next year. So uh, they just uh, reach at uh, uh, 400 grams. Mm -hmm. So there's a company that's just taking them. So how can you. somebody conduct you in case he needs this, he or she needs this advice on how to do the farming? Okay, you can just get me, I have this number, WhatsApp mm -hmm. uh, number, it's uh, plus two five four seven zero zero four nine zero zero four seven. Yeah. Also, we have other, we are joined by other creators here. Maybe they can they make a shout out on your channel. Yes, yes, as, as we finish. Mm -hmm. Oh, my name is Cyprian. Kindly don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm. My name is Jebian. Kindly subscribe on my channel. What's your good YouTube name? Username, maybe? It's underscore Gintu. Mm -hmm. It's underscore G-I-N-T-U. And the point to drive home again is, mm -hmm. uh, as you can now see this area, how it is, that land that has uh, the sweet potato beans, mm -hmm. I've now purchased it officially. Wow. So as now I can now uh, construct their Airbnbs mm -hmm. for the people who are just going to come. Because uh, when the Ayamaru's party was just ongoing, mm -hmm. most of the people are just visiting this area when uh, the music was just loud at that area. Mm -hmm. So they could just come here because it's just a, a calm area and you can just uh, get the meditation area here so it was somehow the environment was uh, uh, not pollutive mm -hmm. in terms of that so I have just purchased that one so as I can now construct an Airbnb, mm -hmm. a bonfire and some gazebos. Wow. so people yeah. want maybe to do the village uh, the village uh, methods of uh, cooking mm -hmm. I can just uh, give you this was the pond created for that so I have just constructed this mm -hmm. for the uh, use of those hooks so the Airbnb is just going to start from this fish pond here Mm -hmm. So as it will now go to upper side. So it, if you can just get from your house, you can now access the pond and you can now withdraw some fish using a hook. Mm -hmm. So it will, it will have just an entry fee only then you come inside. So you can just uh, 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 roast some fish. You can just grill some fish here mm -hmm. with your friends and uh, enjoy. So this will be just uh, a fish farming project with Airbnbs around.